to my channel, Casablanca Cargo. This is Kathy, and if this is your first time, hello, welcome. Or if you're returning, welcome to you too. I'm so glad that you're with me today, and this is some more of my Pioneer Woman inspired traveler's notebooks. And I'm going to do some decoupage with Mod Podge today. Firstly, I have a few things I want to try to get done in this video. So what I'm going to do, I want to make some decorated, um, these are uh, junk mail, junk, yeah, you know, bills or other things. And what I did was um, covered up some of the, you know, information or not really information it's just you know instructions on how to use their their special envelope to pay a bill and I just took some uh, leftover pieces of uh, composite not composite I got that on the brain of copy paper and just you know covered up what I didn't want to show through the napkin some of the, the, these two are the inside envelopes that you would return to pay a bill or, you know, whatever. This one's an outside envelope. And so this, this part we're not going to use. So I'm just going to cut that off. And I know these will fit. I'm going to just check and make sure this size will fit because I plan to glue it into, you know, they're a little bit, this one's just a little bit big. So I'm going to cut this to that size, to the in, inside envelope size, which is this size, which just for, <laughs> just for safety's sake, let's check that one too, make sure. It could fit in there. Let's cut down a little. Yeah. I think that would work. So I can, I'm going to trim this off a little bit anyway as well. Just so it will go for sure. So let me get my, let's see, this will, I tried cutting something with this yesterday and it was not straight and I'm well that's too thick anyway let's just cut these down there's the back yes thank you thank you okay I'm just gonna cut let's see this is already over three and a half inches so I'm gonna take it down to three and a quarter I still want to maintain the window of it Let's see if it'll be straight now, possibly. We still have the window, which that's what I want. I'll throw this away. And I'll use scissors to cut that one down. And this one, do not send cash. Well, you can guarantee I'm not sending you cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Okay. And make sure I still have a window. Yep, yep. Garbage. And then I'm going to use scissors. See, there's that window. I'm just going to trim this down a lot, it looks like. Okay, so I'm not going to do the underside because that's going to get glued onto the page. So I still, now you can either open it up and then re-glue it, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, so, well, this one's fine because it's plain, 
these I will be putting things in the envelope so I'm just going to leave it this time so what I've done is um, before I started recording is I separated the two layers I cut this one in half to get to the all the layers down here but I this is very <laughs> it's a different different um, texture here of this napkin but I separated the two um, layers under the printed layer and I'm just going to to take it to cover the front of the envelope All right. and what I do I want my window so this is this is a technique I came up with am I original to this technique probably not <laughs> I don't know but I want to be able to remove the napkin from around the window and this was the easiest way I could think of to come up with to do it I just take a piece of scrap paper and make it just a little bit smaller than the window and of course this is a rounded window but it'll probably end up more square by when I'm done but I am going to add trim and things I can feel the edge of that window with my scissors so I'm going to cut just a little bit just a tiny smidge inside that and then I'll check it again and I'm going to take some of these corners off of the paper if it will cooperate one of the problems I find for myself is getting close enough to the window with the napkin not too far out from there because then you know it's not decoupage to the edge so alright so now with this window I'm just going to use some cheapy uh, glue stick for this part this is I got this jumbo jumbo stick from Staples and um, it's actually pretty good for my purposes um, I wouldn't use it for a permanent gluing solutions but for this is fine so with the sticky side up I'm going to take my napkin and let's see the openings here so this is sort of a d directional napkin and first of all I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it on top of the envelope okay and smooth it down and it's not long enough that's terrific oh well let's see if I can move this ah yes just restick it a little bit. Um, I like this napkin because of the color. I thought it would look good with the Pioneer Woman uh, color palette, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it from the very edge. Let's see if it'll cover the whole thing. If not, I may just cut it off to fit <laughs> okay that's better okay so I'm smoothing it down to get that little piece of paper there it is and that's where my window is so I have in the past used scissors but I am going to try it with my finger blade and it may or may not work we'll soon find out if it does work that's great because then I don't have to cut into the any more into the napkin than than I have to just to get this this piece away you know what I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna cut into my second 
I cut into my other craft mat. <sighs> oh, I'm glad I caught that because, well, even though this one is old and used, well loved, as they would say, get up there. I still don't want to. I don't want to ruin it <laughs> any further by cutting another slices in. All right. You know, sums, sums for gluing, sums for cutting. All right, let's see if this will work. If it doesn't pull up on the napkin, but just go through, that'd be cool. Let's see what happened. Is it? No, it's not going to work. I'm afraid, I'm afraid it's going to shift the napkin and, you know, tear it up. So I'm just going to do it like this. Just go in there with the pointy. And these are little tiny um, Singer's Precision Tip, I guess you call it, Fussy Cut Tip, to get in there and just cut away. And I'll speed up this part of the video. Okay, that's what the cut cutaway part looks like. And I actually am going to save this because I can use it for another project. So then you have your window cut out just like that. And I'm just going to lay it back down on here. And you can see now this is the window. And uh, all things considered, it should work. <laughs> So this part now, I'm going to move this out of here because I don't want to get glue on this part of my mat, my cutting mat. I'm going to take, not this glue, but I'm going to take this glue and this is the Create Scotch, Scotch Create uh, Permanent Glue Stick. This is pretty good, um, especially for this purpose. Instead of using the uh, Mod Podge at this point, which I can do, I'm just going to glue it with the glue stick first. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with Mod Podge. But this will just get that napkin down on there. Try to avoid the window, the actual acetate of the window but try to get along the edges. <laughs> Which I guess you could use, you know, a smaller glue stick or just use the Mod Podge. You can just start with Mod Podge and end with Mod Podge or whatever sealing property you're using, glue. Okay, so let's get that on there. All right, so now very carefully and with much trepidation, try to lay that napkin back down onto the window. Okay. And then smooth it out. Now, if you were going to do the whole envelope, what I would do, what I have done, is just slice the envelope open, lay the, the napkin all the way on it, or you can take it and turn it and then turn it and you know once this side is dry take it turn it and uh, do the same process over here with with gluing the napkin and then you have a whole whole napkin piece and then that can just be paper clipped or clipped in or just you know put in the front or the back of the journal 
or you know wherever you want to put it in a pocket okay so this is ready for the decoupage so I'm gonna do these other two and then we'll come back and do the the uh, Mod Podge on top of it okay I have a couple of uh, minor issues to address before I continue with the Mod Podge. Um, this one, because I cut the flap off, now we have this sort of a angular thing going on. Some of them don't do that. These are fine. Uh, I'm going to build up a little section here. Now I have the window to address or, you know, be mindful of. But I can put this in like that, then cut off the excess. And I'm going to use some uh, quick drying. <laughs> I covered up the NAS. It was, you know, it needs a new, I need a new bottle. Okay. Um, but this still works. <laughs> it's the art glitter glue. And what I'm going to do is probably the easier way is just to slice it open then make the thing and then you know but but why be why go easy <laughs> why do it the easy way i'm just gonna put some glue on this v inside try not to let the thing fall out of my hand and glue itself shut and i'm going to come down to Where's the window? I don't want to, I want to cover up the V, nah. but I don't want to cover up my window. So I can scooch it up a little until I'm okay. That, I'm just gonna tilt it a little. That V point is um you know i'm gonna do the best to cover that up there we go okay so i'm gonna let that dry hopefully it won't dry the thing closed and what i did was i cut the napkin but i left a little bit so you know i'm gonna fold it over just to just to give it a finished edge but that's really not that important if you only have a limited um amount of napkin to work with this one let's see where's the opening here's the opening and I can either fold that in which will be you know I think I'm gonna just cut that that napkin part off and then I'm just gonna put maybe a trim maybe washi tape or something glue some washi tape on there but we'll see and um, yeah, so this will go like that. I can do that with a glue stick. And then let's see if there was another something I needed to do. Oh yeah, this one I had I had cut down to match this, the length of the other two. So I'm just gonna glue it back shut at this point. Um, if you wanted to cover up all that security print, you could do that, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave it. I'll just let that one dry and then we're going to Mod Podge glue decoupage the correct word for what we were doing <laughs> gonna cover those with Mod Podge and continue from there all right so everything is dried that's gonna dry at this point this one's stuck together, but it's only a little bit. There we go. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to take this and cut it as straight as I can eyeball it. There. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to Let's see, finally make sure I don't close the opening. <laughs> don't do that. And let's see, instead of, I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue stick along this edge 
or let's see, maybe I'll just use some, actually, this is easier. I'm going to use art glitter glue. And then I'm going to put the fold in part of this napkin. Let's give it some mitered corners, partly mitered. <laughs> So it'll fit in there. I don't want to glue it shut. I just want to put this in. Put a little bit on the napkin so it'll glue at the bottom. All right, here comes the big will it work. There we go. You can glue it, but will it work? Okay. Okay, I don't I don't want to take a risk of that sticking. So, I'm just going to leave it like that and let it dry before I move on to decoupaging. dry. Spot off there. Okay. And you, I should have put more on this side than that side. It will. I still think I can possibly give it a little it'll stick. If not, this one's going to get some washi tape later. But it looks like it's going to stick. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Okay, so that, let that dry. Okay. Let this dry and I will be back. Let us continue. Get my, oh. All right. So let's do the duck paging. And get my brush out of here. Let's decoupage. This is matte Mod Podge. I don't think I mentioned that yet. So, uh, I want to put a little border down here. You know, like I did the over here. Um, my husband has just returned from his shopping adventure. So if you hear clanging and cluttering, <laughs> clanging and banging, it is him in the kitchen. But maybe I did warn him I was I was in here, so I don't know. That'll explain it. Okay, so I'm gonna do. 
I really would love to get this all done at once. So I'm going to do the front, then I'm going to do the back pieces, and I'm going to prop them up on glue bottles so they can all just... What am I doing? They can all dry. My husband is going to grill some blue cheese cheeseburgers for dinner. And oh, oopsie. That's that's gonna be good. I just take <coughs> you make the the hamburgers like you normally would with seasonings and stuff and then I put I don't know I think it's like four ounces of crumbled blue cheese in the mixture and then form the patties and we all liked it even the picky eaters <laughs> it's really good all right, so get my mind off of food. Get my gluing going. And here we go.
they're dry, then I will decorate them. Apaging. And so I want to make some fake stamps. Put that in there. Get the rest of these envelopes out of here now. I don't need them. Messing with everything. Okay, this is the this is the stuff I've been saving. This is my Piner Woman uh, folder. <laughs> so I'm gonna make stamps with these um, food plates with this little cabin down here with the dog and the pumpkins. I think maybe maybe not maybe not re. But um, these are all nice and bright pictures. So I think it will work pretty good. And I think that's enough um, to make the faux stamps. So I'll show you what, what that looks like. Okay, so we take what I do with um, catalog or magazine images to make them more vintage looking. I take tea bags and I dry them. This is a dried, dried used tea bag and there's dried tea in there. I take out the tea and um, once you do that you have like rectangles. And they have all different kinds of tea dried patterns on them. There's some more. You see where that concentrated as it dried in the bag. And that's what that's what makes it look more vintage. You know, I'm not going to call it vintage because it's not vintage. is is the age of something. I mean, that's my definition. That's that's how I feel. But I can make it look more vintage and then change change it from just a, a magazine or a catalog picture um, here's some more these are all been cut open so yeah so I cut them open and then I use Mod Podge hey fly fly away okay um, I found it easier to, let me scooch up a bit. I find it easier to actually put the tea bag on while it's still all one piece of paper than you know cut these little pieces of paper because once they get wet with the with the Mod Podge, it's going to curl a bit. But when it's all one, um, you know, page or half a page like this, a fuller a fuller page, <laughs> it actually um, helps to prevent it from. From uh, curling up. Now this one, the T really stuck to the bag, so I may not use that this time. But I like these because it gives it that grungy. Like I said, it changes it from just a, a catalog picture into something more creative and artistic and vintage looking. You know. Okay, and so when you have this many, or this many, when you have this length, um, if I can fit it across two, that's fine because then it'll dry and then I'll just cut them apart. But these look like they're a little bit bigger than the tea bag surface. Okay, this is a big, big tea bag here. I don't like to, um, if I can help it, put two tea bags together because then I'll have that line across but if I can just fit one one in like that that would work and then once it's dry cut around so let's let's just get going here and I will speed up this part of the video once I get the lid off Oh, will I learn? No. <laughs> Do this before you turn the camera on. Ah! Okay, here we go.
Okay, so here's our my stamps in the making and I have the other one up there. It's drying. I'm going to let these dry and then we'll come back. Okay, these are dry. Took about 45 minutes, I suppose. And I'm going to cut I want to cut all these images out to make them into stamps. 